So this is Prithvi Chauhan. I'm an entrepreneur who has a business, a healthcare investment business in UAE. And over the last few years, I have been involved in several multi-million dollar transactions, including a $3.5 million deal, a $10 million deal, a $15 million deal, a $25 million deal, a $110 million deal, and a $120 million deal. And I did it, uh, I was involved in these transactions over a period of two years. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about um, this book that I read a couple of years ago that allowed me to get in this position. And I'm just 28 years old right now. So things happened very quickly. And everything happened after I read this book. So then so the name of this book uh, is Your First 100 Million. And it's written by my mentor, Dan Pena. Now just a quick introduction of Dan Pena. He has over 50 years of business experience. And he created a company from $820 and it reached up to $450 million in market capitalization. And this happened within seven years. And he did this, I think, 25, 30 years ago. And this is this was not a tech company. Usually you see that kind of growth happening in a tech company. This was an oil and gas company. And the name of the company was Great Western Resources. So in this book, your first hundred million, Dan Pena talks about the strategy that the fundamental strategy that allowed him to create such a massive growth in a period over a period of seven years. And we will look into this strategy, what this is and how you can implement it. And these days he teaches entrepreneurs and aspiring entrepreneurs how to get in the same position and how to create wealth, generational wealth in five to seven years time um, in his castle. You know, he lives in a castle now. He's a very wealthy man. And um, he has two different programs. One of them is called Quantum Leap Advantage. And the other one is called Quantum Leap Advantage Hardcore. I have had the honor of attending both of them in 2019. And uh, this is the reason why I'm able to do what I'm doing now. So we're going to talk a little bit about the book. Um, also, one more thing. He has created over $1 trillion in equity value through his students, through his uh, people who have been mentored by him over the last 25 years and some of the people include Klaus Kleinfeld who was the former CEO of Siemens and he's the current CEO of the Alcoa group and he was responsible to do one of the largest deals in recorded history and that deal was with the Saudi government a $500 billion deal to build the city of Neon. You might have already heard about it. If you haven't, you can Google it and check it out um, after this video. Um, and he has been involved in many transactions. So when I say, or when he says trillion dollars, that's not his net worth. That's not the amount of cash that he has. But that's what we refer to as equity value, you know, um, he has been involved in transactions that value of that size. He has been directly or indirectly involved in that volume of transactions through his mentees and devotees. So this is the man who wrote this book and he is talking about how to make your first hundred million in five to seven years time. And if you fuck it up, 10 years. 
So how is it that you can go from zero or little or nothing? And and this book, by the way, assumes that you don't have any money. It's because Dan Pena, when he started, he did not have any money. That's why he says that I turned eight hundred and twenty dollars into four hundred and fifty million. So especially if you don't have any money, you're starting out, um, and you want to know how this kind of growth happens, then this book is for you. So I was checking online everywhere, um, you know, for looking for advice. I wrote down all my goals. I'm just giving you a little bit background before we get into the book. And I had been writing my goals since I was 17 years old. So over the last 10 years. And after I wrote down my goals, I knew I, I needed someone who could help me achieve those goals because I had no idea how am I going to achieve, um, you know, goals of this size. And my goal was to become a billionaire and uh, make a lot of money in a very short period of time. And virtually no one was talking about it. There were individuals who were talking about making a couple of million dollars or maybe talking about getting good at sales, negotiation, uh, you know, different aspects of business. But nobody was giving a proven step-by-step -step model of making a hundred million. There are proven step-by-step -step models to making a million, even 10 million. But a proven step-by-step -step model to to make a hundred million or more was was something that nobody was talking about, you know. So this book got me attracted, and only Dan Pena was talking about it. And I picked it, picked up the book, and I started to read. So let's get right into it. So this book revolves around the story of how he created the Great Western Resources. And this company was created by primarily following one major strategy. And that strategy is business acquisitions. What is business acquisition? It simply is when one company buys another company and has buying other companies as a primary strategy for growth. So they're not investing so much maybe in marketing. They're not investing so much in developing products and services. They're not necessarily investing so much in finding new, um, you know, bases of new base of customers or starting something from scratch. You know, the this company is focused on buying other companies. And that's exactly why this company has been formed to buy other companies. So this is a strategy, which is business acquisitions that Dan Pena used to grow his company that rapidly. I don't think in any business model other than tech, uh, this kind of growth is possible. And even in tech, it is very rare. Uh, and that's why... You cannot say that, you know, even Mark Zuckerberg cannot say that what he has done can be replicated over and over again in a reliable step-by-step -step format because trends keep changing. So many things keep changing and timing is very important. So this book doesn't talk about those strategies. This book talks about business acquisitions, buying other companies. If you think about it, this is true in any area of life. Is it easier to create, for example, a shirt from scratch? Or is it easier to just go to the market and buy, pay some money and buy the shirt? It's obviously way more easier to buy the shirt, a ready-made shirt uh, that so many people have been involved in. You know, some the farmer, you know, is, is, is doing the harvesting of cotton, then the cotton goes to another person, then threads are made, then it goes to the factory. And then, you know, there are so many hands involved in making a shirt. Even something as simple as a shirt can be extremely complex. So if you want a shirt, you don't go and start farming for cotton. You just go 
and you buy a shirt from the market. So why would you start a company from scratch if you want, a, a, let's say you want a million dollar company. Why would you start something from scratch when you can just go find a business that's doing a million dollars in, in revenue and, and, and has a healthy profit and why wouldn't you just acquire it? You know, ultimately, the ownership of the business gets changed by signing a few pieces of paper. That's really how transactions are done. So, you could just sign some papers and get the ownership of a multi-million dollar business. Obviously, I'm oversimplifying. You need to get the financing. You need to agree on the price. You need to negotiate. But it's going to be, no matter what the process is to acquire, and we'll get into that, but it's not going to be as complex as creating a multi-million dollar from scratch. So this is the reason why so many businesses fail is because they are trying to create value and not trying to acquire value. So this, this one distinction absolutely uh, blew my mind is that I was thinking about creating value, you know, developing a product or service, testing different products, testing different markets, and, you know, hiring employees, putting a lot of startup capital, and still things may not work out. And I was really paralyzed before starting a business. But when Dan Pena put it in a very simplified format that you're doing it the wrong way, uh, there are already businesses which are very well established that are doing million dollars, $10 million, $20 million, $50 million. And you can just reach out to these decision makers of these businesses and you can strike a deal and you can acquire their company. You can pay money and you can acquire their company. And you don't have to even pay money from your own pocket. You can raise capital and you can acquire these companies. So, this is the strategy with which this company grew from $820 to $450 million. And I will talk about step-by-step step how that happened. Uh, this is going to be a multi-part series, so watch all the videos till the end. And uh, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss a video. Uh, every video, I'm going to be talking about uh, business and multi-million dollar deals or something in that direction. So it's going to be extremely valuable for you uh, to stay up to date with this content. Um, and I'll be posting one video every single day. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.